Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 map spotlight. This time we are in a map I have forgotten the name of, uh, Walken, I believe. Um, this does look uh, suspiciously like Bjornholm but after fiddling about a bit, uh, no it's not. Drove around one of the tractors a bit and yeah, it's not Bjornholm, it is based is using Bjornholm as a base, but I don't think it is actually anything like Bjornholm. You'll notice my vehicles are bizarrely coloured and look a bit cartoony, uh, potentially. I'm using the real night mod now, um, just so that it's a bit more of a challenge when it gets dark and there's a reason to use the lights. So uh, I'm just going to skip time forward to the middle of the day. Now, we have some light. The vehicles still look a bit cartoony. Not quite sure how I can fix that, but that's a thing. So this is um, where you start off, and these are your starter vehicles, seeing them already here. You get the Agrostar, the Case Puma 160, the Euroboss, the Potting or More, the Coon Windroar, and the Tether. That's it, as far as I know. Yep, that's it. You have to start with grass. You have to start by mowing grass everywhere. Uh, good luck with that if you decide to play this map. I'm going to be getting rid of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the pause screen very quickly because I want to show you guys a problem. And it's a fairly common problem from what I've been seeing. The map maker didn't edit the XML of the map, the map description. Um, so it shows up in the map selection screen as a sample mod map and it's not really been done very well if uh, there is anything to go by. Now here is what I can only presume is the cow zone. Um, can I go in? No. Um, is there any way in at all? Any way at all to get in there? Oh. Uh, no. Okay, so you can't get in there for some reason. Um, not sure why, but that's the thing. Not quite sure what that place is. I think it might be the cows. Looking in there, it looks like it might be, but if you can't get in... Oh. Oh, that's suddenly been mapped to something. So this is the cows, and I never remapped really that button, so I wonder if the game has inexplicably decided that it wants that button to be mapped to a uh, left bumper in B, in B. So yeah, this is your cow zone that moves, which is a nice touch. Um, I like how all of these individual things seem to have collisions of their own. Again, a nice little touch. So, cows are here. Um, no indication on the map that the cows are here because they didn't bother changing anything, changing any of the triggers or anything, as far as I know. You can get water out of this teeny tiny pool, which isn't even deep enough. I'm not even sure if this is real water, but it's there. Um, it looks like the texture has been stretched. I know how that happens. They've it's probably using the ocean script uh, that's defaulted, and they stretched the ocean so much that the water texture is huge. Uh, I've dabbled a bit and done that myself. So, if all of this map is grass, then you're going to have to start off with. Probably biogas would be the profitable one, but you have to start off by setting some grass so you can buy a front loader, and that's. Well, you could take out a loan, I suppose, but. Uh, oh, hang on. There are a couple of fields down here. Um, no harvester, again. No seeder, no cultivator, no plow, no method of getting these crops out, so you will probably have to 
either turn off withering or but well, deal with having no <laughs> having fields of dead crops for because the map maker couldn't be bothered giving you a combine. Are these 2015 spec trees? Um, hard to tell what that one. This one is birch, so it should be a bit easier. I don't think so, but there's only one way to find out for sure. We'll get the chainsaw that I always get. And we'll Oh, these are, in fact, 2015 spec trees. I've just never seen them behave like that, so... Just as proof, we will... Hang on, this is... This is cutting through, actually. It was actually cutting through the tree, but the hitbox is weird. Um... I'm not quite sure what happened there, just like that. Check you can get the branches off, etc. I'm not sure if you can. I'm not going to look into that too much. They are 2015 spec trees, apparently. Um, you can cut them down. Random grass in a field. I think that's supposed to be grass. Some sort of weird texture going on in that field. Um, strange textures and everything. That could just be the real night mode being screwy. I'm not going to make a complaint about that could be a problem I am. Um, I looked at the log file as I always do before I started this off and whether it's a problem with the map or a problem with this save file I'm not sure but it did come up as a corrupt save game immediately um, after loading in a couple of the vehicles so Obviously there were a couple of errors, there were a couple of errors in um, textures and things, but this came up as a corrupt save game after loading a couple of vehicles, so there might be an issue there. Um, consider that a warning. There is potential for a corrupt save game. Apparently the biomass heating plant is up here. That back there is the transport company. So. Let's have a look at the biomass heating plant if it is where it says it is. And by the looks of things it is. Possibly maybe on the wrong side of the wall, so I'll just hop out here and go around. And yes, that is with it you know what, that's a teeny tiny texture, but it does work. Um for the wood chips there. It is the biomass heating plant. Some storage there. Um, I will try and show you the farmyard, but because the map maker decided to, well, not change the PDA map file, I can't. Apparently, down here there's a tip trigger. I'm not sure if that actually exists or if it's a figment of the map's imagination. I'll go down and have a look. Apparently, there's some fuel inside that hill. Um, that's clearly wrong. So the tip trigger is apparently um, this road. So that is um, obviously wrong. So this is why I don't, this is exactly the reason that I don't like maps that have um, well they've, they've just lazy map making again they haven't changed the PDA map, so I can't tell where anything is, so I can't show you guys where anything is, so... Well, and when you guys get to playing this map, you won't see anything. You'll be lost 98% of the time. Um, ah. What happened here is the map maker took a flat map and made the rest of the map around it, I forgot to put in boundaries so you never got to see the flat bit. That's why it suddenly goes flat and the grass stops. Um, bit of an oversight there. A funny oversight, but an oversight nonetheless. Uh, these are all just painted trees. Those ones are real. 
They're probably 2015 spec. I'm not going to check. Uh, I can get through this this forest. Can't see it for the trees. That one has collisions as well. Um, I like this power line thing going on. Not quite sure what. It's that's not supposed to be a cable car, is it? Because you would not, you'd never have a cable car going up that shallow a gradient. This is supposed to be a cable car. Oh my god! I the, ah, this gradient I could imagine. So one would presume that this is a ski resort during the winter or something. All these fences might cause issues with it being a ski resort. Um, I think it's just the detail the map maker put in to put a detail in. However, it does kind of bring the player down here to this big flat area that makes no sense whatsoever and kind of looks a bit out of place. Uh, I'm trying to find something to show you guys, but it's very hard. You do start off with crops, no harvester, no cedar, no cultivator, no plow, no nothing. That's the tree I cut down earlier. Um, again, very few fields. In fact, this seems a lot like the uh, Tyrolean Alps map in that there's very, very few fields and they're all kind of clustered together in a bizarre part of the map. Um, at least with the Tyrolean Alps map, uh, you actually knew where the storage was. What's this over here? Oh, this is the biomass heating plant. Um, I'm trying to find things to show you guys, but because the PDA map is wrong, it's bordering on impossible. That's cheeky. That's cheeky. They've hided the uh, non-collision painted trees in behind some of the uh, trees with collision, so that you don't actually see them. It's a good. That's actually a good idea for saving space and the same here, non-collision floating painted trees. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to complain about that because that's just smart. It's, it actually saves on um, file size as well if, if a map maker does that. So there's obviously something up here the player is supposed to be seeing. And it is a roadway with wood piled up. So this is obviously supposed to be a forestry area. I think there's supposed to be waterfall kind of thing going on there with the dam, but <clears throat> yes, I think it's a dam. A bit higher in check. Uh, no, I think it's supposed to be a dam, but uh, it's not. Car's stuck now. Yeah, it's supposed to be a river coming down, but I don't think the map maker could quite make it a proper river, so it looks a bit weird. <sighs> Do you know what? I can't really show you guys a lot of this map, and I feel a bit bad for about it, but it's the only map I could find, and it's the best I can give you guys. I mean... <laughs> Look, if you're a map maker and you're watching this, please don't take these words lightly. Don't release a map until it's done. I know this map says it's a beta. I'm not criticizing this map for releasing at a beta stage. It allows more people to, you know, have a look at it and test it out for the map maker. That's not my issue. My issue is that I'm not quite sure what that is. My issue is and. It, it, it's happened a few times now where this has happened. If you're going to release a map to the public, at least to have it in a state where people can look around and know where they are on the map. By, by that I mean have a working PDA map. With the map in its current state, I would be verging on saying it's unplayable. What's this here? What is this? 
some sort of storage area for things. There's quite a lot of grass hiding things in here. These stairs kind of work. And the grass is kind of poking out through the roof, which I don't think is realistic. Um, so there's storage of some description up here. Um, oh! Open air silage bunker. Uh, that's actually kind of a nice touch. I must admit. However, I don't think it's the right... It's in the right place. Um, I have a feeling if you fill it... Yeah, it's going to cover about half the road here, because this is where the trigger ends, so... You're not going to be able to get through here very much once you've got silage going. Um, I'm not quite sure where on the map this is. That has... Does this have weird collisions or no collisions? So you can see into the depth of hell. Uh, does this have collisions? Yes. Uh, so... This is an area with a silage bunker. Some inexplic inexplicable storage. And a water trigger. And I'm not sure where on the map it is. Where's the vehicles? Kind of... I... I'm gonna release this video. And... Um, the reason is I couldn't find another map today that wasn't a Bjorn Holm or Westman Chains edit. And this is the closest I've come to a, um, a different map. I'm just gonna pause it there so that I can talk. Um... It's a beta. It's got potential. The map does have potential, I'm not going to deny that. It needs a lot of work. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if the corrupt save game thing was due to my using the save file for all the map. The same save file for all the map spotlights or something to do with the map. But, you know, I'm not going to hold that as a criticism. It's probably a problem on my end. But the PDA map thing is a big issue, and that needs to be fixed for the next release of the map. And a full release should have a working PDA map. Um, no log file errors, none of that stuff. And a few of the maps that I've looked at, yes, they've been betas. I wouldn't expect a full map to be to have been developed at this point for 2015. Um, in the new Giants editor... Uh, the ones that have been coming out, for the most part, have been... I've found major issues with. Uh, and it's a shame. It really is. Um, I hope things improve in the very near future, or else... Well, these map spotlights will have to take a bit of a break until good maps start releasing. Uh, this has been your Farming Simulator 15 Map Spotlight. I've been Rainbow Dave. Um, please leave your thoughts below uh, in the comments below. Um, and give me a like if you enjoyed this video. I can't really see why you would. It's not the greatest one I've, I've made. Um, yeah, I will see you next time I find a new map. Or in the Let's Play if you watch that as well. I very much appreciate if you watch both my series. Um, yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye.